All right, now let me explain to you the interface a little bit briefing about the panels. This is the captured image you'll have through the web camera when the system is installed in the classroom. See these students sitting over here? And then you'll have face recognition results in this image frame. And then the individual face matches will be given in this frame over here. Okay, now since you're running a demo version of our project because you won't probably be sitting in a classroom where our system is installed, so we've ha we have provided you with certain images already. Okay, so let this demo attendance be selected as it is. Now, to begin attendance, please first select a course and then a classroom options below. Now, since I logged in specifically as Instructor 101, so naturally my courses and classes that I take have will automatically load. See this? I take these courses. I will select C101. And the classes which I teach C101 to will be loaded over here. Since this is BETE9 sitting over here, I will select BETE9. Now, selecting this class ID over here means that I am loading a training data of these very students sitting in over here. And also, I am selecting the right attendance sheet for marking for these students. Okay, so let's see how the attendance is taken. We click the Start Attendance button and it starts. The process has started. You can see this circling. Okay, now you see uh, you'll be having some messages popping up now and then it will provide you with uh, the steps that have been going the steps that are going on okay you see this process log over here this provides you with the successful steps that have been so far completed okay now you see this faces detected over here now thankfully we have hundred percent of detection and the next part is loading the training data for recognition Let's click OK. Now, it'll take about a few seconds, so it hasn't jammed, don't worry. And there, the training set has been loaded for BET9, and now the recognition begins and marking their attendance begins. And the process has been completed. You see this? There are red faces, and the others are green faces. Okay, the green boxes have something on top of it written over here. Now that is actually the name and the roll number of the student and red boxes also have something written but that is written unknown, unrecognized that is. Okay, now let's see the mark sheet. Okay, this is the marked attendance sheet. You see this? The student roll number that was uh, given over here against which there has been a present mark. Whoever has been found present is marked present over here with the date time of the time when this attendance has been taken. Okay, now this there is a feature to this software that if the system has wrongly uh, marked somebody absent or present, the instructor has the final right to correct the attendance. So for example, this person over here has been wrongly marked. He was actually a part of BETE9, but he has not been recognized. So the teacher, the instructor can just go, for example, it was this person, and just click it and edit it to present. And then finalize attendance. Changes are saved successfully. Okay. Now there's also, as I mentioned earlier, that you can view individual matches. So you can see over here, recognized 11 and missed 4, and total uh, that have been detected were 15, so it makes sense. Okay, now let's view the single matches. Okay, so showing match, it'll show you all the individual matches. The efficiency of the recognition depends on the algorithm used. So. I will not say that this is 100% correct result, but it is the optimum result we had so far. Thank you.